Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. We're doing a famous grouse blend with their black, baby. They're black. Smoky black, and we're gonna... Ooh, test it! Smoky style. Blended Scotch whiskey style. Woohoo! All right, I'm Bart, your Scott. I didn't say it in the open. I should have, but we went right to the smoky. So, talk it. I'm trying to remember if we've done a famous grouse. We've done one famous grouse, but Eight. it was early. We had famous grouse 18 year old that we, I think, a sample of we did in a live stream or something a long, long time ago. I remember a grouse. I think I even have a box upstairs with a grouse on it. Yeah, uh, way back. Um, Here, you want to know what I know first? They don't like E's in Scotland. They even dropped the E on the Smokey. It's S M O K Y. They got it on the grouse. Well, yeah, I know. So what? Why don't they like it on yeah. the Smokey? Uh -huh. Grouse has got it's an probably, E. They probably like it's unnecessary. Yeah, get, Smokey. Get rid of unnecessary. You don't need an letters. E and a Y. It makes the same sound. Yeah. <laughs> so, a while back, uh, while back, two Eric's drinking whiskey. Drink two Eric's drink whiskey. YouTube channel. Two invited hours. me on for a blind. Boom. They had set me up with a famous grouse kind of lineup. Did you pick when up the, the 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 single grain at all? Or yeah, I the, think the, so. I remember telling them, I said, this is something really familiar and yeah. it kind of tastes like some of the Johnny Walkers that mm, I'd had. There you are. Yeah. Picking up the blends. So, uh, go check out Eric's Drink Whiskey, though. Uh, it's either two Eric's Drink Whiskey or Eric's Drink Whiskey. Sorry, guys. But... Uh, and, and they're big fans of the famous grouse as well. And we'll get into the price point, all that stuff here God, in a little bit. I'm excited. This, uh, unfortunately, 40% ABV. We don't like they to see. They almost always do. That. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Most of, most of your, your, blends, your standard blend right at the you know, line right at 40%. Yeah, so, right at it. Uh, this is a blended Scotch whiskey. So there's some grain whiskeys in here as well. Mm -hmm. There's some peated whiskeys. It's interesting. Yeah. Let's see what we got. So the nose gives me, uh, interestingly enough, I get a little bit of a dusty smoke. <clears throat> and I kind of get, <clears throat> sorry, I couldn't talk through it. It would have been like, right. oh, are you doing the puff technique? Hold on. I'm trying because I'm not getting anything. But my nose, disclaimer still, nose is hindered. I get from a little hints of fruit. Fruit, sugared fruit with the dusty it's not, see, I, I couldn't call it peat. I just call it like a dustiness, a dusty burntness. It's subtle and it's soft, but I, I think I get it. If you gave it to me blind, I'm not sure I would, though. Mm. That's how subtle it is. I'm, I'm honestly not getting anything on the nose, but that's my long-term COVID effects. Long-term, long-term. I can tell there's a slight alcohol in here. But it's nice, yeah. I get it. a little bit of like sugared fruit. Uh, it's weird on a smell, sugared fruit smell. It's like a sugary with a fruity touch and then that dry, dusty burntness. Maybe some citrus sweetness is about it mm. on the nose. But hmm. Hmm. interesting. It is, of course, very light. The problem is I always got to go back in. I get a sugary, syrupy sweetness on the finish. That's almost always from the blends. And that's where I can almost pick up a blend. Gives it a nice, smooth finish. Great for folks that are new to whiskey. A lot of vanilla citrus. Mm -hmm. um, I'm trying to get the smoke, but I, honestly, I'm not getting it. I'm not getting any of the... Uh, a lot of times, your your uh, lower end grain blends you'll detect that kind of youthful grain i don't necessarily get that i'm not getting any of the grain. it almost tastes it. more malty yeah than there's a lot of malt grain whiskey there's a lot of malt and i think there's like this this little whiff of smoke that comes through but i'm going to tell you again if i didn't know what i was trying i don't think i would get it it's that faint. I didn't get it on the whiskey, but I got it when I was talking. Hmm. After I drank it and I was just sitting there kind of giving the notes, I got I was I was smelling smoke mm -hmm. as I was talking. Mm. So a little bit of residual there. A little bit of the um, circular breathing going mm -hmm. on, probably. 
Um, it definitely seems a little more dusty and malty than the like Johnny Walker blends I'm used to. Um, sweeter to me. There's a lot. I'm getting a lot of sweet, a lot of vanillas, a lot of malt. I think the malt's probably the thing that interests me the most. Slight powdered sugars. Have we done a blind shootout with blendeds? I don't think we have. We did the twelve year blind with Shivas, just Doers, and right. Johnny Walker. That's right. We did the entry level, just the stuff. three, three, yeah. twelve, twelve. We years. might be able to do more of those. That might be interesting. Hmm. These are, I mean, they've been, and there's even some dust on. Look on the top of that oh, box. Wow. There's some dust just from sitting some in dust. our store. These, I mean, in our area, these aren't going really fast. Now, with them, we picked up the Ruby cask as well. Hmm. I think, right? Yeah. But, um, let me try a little water in this. For, so I would say, if I was like thinking, I'm thinking, when would I drink this? Right now, it's August. It's been extremely humid here in Wichita, Kansas, and hot. And I could see throwing a cube in this. Letting it chill out a little bit, not worrying about the flavors, because sometimes when you chill it, a lot of times the flavors are going to be muted as well. But I could see me sipping on this and enjoying it in a warmer temperature. I will admit, I'm a peat head, and when it gets this hot and humid, I'm usually not drinking a lot of peat. The peat definitely lends itself towards those, those wintry, cold days where you want to feel like a warm blanket. I could see me sipping on this with a cube. Nothing outstanding with this. Nothing that's really going to wow you. Um, Bart's going to say wow at the price point. I can already tell you. Let me. I can, when it's time, I'll guess. Okay. Is it time? Um, let's score it first. Yeah. Generally. Good call. You know, can I? If with your permission, I'd like to borrow from your scale on this. Your scale being eighty-five is where a whiskey starts, up or down. I would put this right at the 85 because it's kind of what I would expect from a blend. Yeah. I was hoping that maybe I would pick up some more of those peat flavors, yeah. but even on the bottle it says subtle. So yeah. I was like, I don't think I'm going to get a lot of peat flavors here. So I'm going to just put it right at the 85. It's exactly what I expected, and it is what it is. And I'm intrigued by the price because I think I might drink a lot of this when it's August and it's hot. If if the wow price is there. Um, I do start at an 85, but I'm kind of, uh, even though this meets expectations, I don't feel like it's an 85. It's probably more like an 83 mm. for me, but I mean, it's not bad. It's just, it's really faint, really light. 40% uh, ABV, of course, um, doesn't help. But um, I mean, I it's not bad it. overall. Well, it's 40%, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. sorry. Thought I heard you say forty three percent. No, I was like, I'd be happy at forty three. Yeah, yeah forty um, twenty two dollars. Mm, I thought you were going to say nineteen ninety nine. What's <laughs> funny is the twenty two seemed too much. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted nineteen ninety nine, baby. Nineteen ninety nine would have been. I would have been like, woo, twenty two. That's too much. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. You know, just going from memory next to Johnny Walker Red. I would probably well, next take to the this red, one. yeah. But next to the black or the double black, I think Ooh. I would grab those. Yeah. How about I grab the double black? But they're more. I mean, Hold on. black is is forty dollars though, and it's a twelve year. Yeah. So I think naturally, you would say yes. So I'm back. I got the Johnny Walker Green, which isn't fair because those are. No. That's not fair. I can't find. I thought I had a black and a double black. I may have put it somewhere. So we'll just leave it where it is. Um, I think it's worth it, but it's don't, worth don't, it at I mean, twenty-two. Yeah. Again, I would probably throw a cube in this. Don't have high it. expectations. It's good. It's not bad. Kind of like a daily drinker in the middle of a hot summer. Nothing offensive to it. No, 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 no. That's why I wanted to borrow from your scale. Your scale it kind of started right where I thought it would be, and it's right where you would expect it to be. I still like my single malts just because you get so much different things out of it. Whereas this is all about consistency. Consistent, consistent, you know, what? You're thinking of something. Yeah, I was just going to hide a little uh, little uh, chat. 
to bring up here when you was done whiskey Ooh. talking. Okay, you're thinking okay. ahead. Bring up you, your chat. You finishing my sentence there a minute ago out loud when we were in Starbucks <laughs> last week and we were on campus, Wichita State University. Right. So there's a, yes. a eclectic crowd, <laughs> you would say. Uh, uh, there's a guy wearing a hat with two little ears sticking up out of it. Sitting yeah. down the way. But he looked, I mean, you got to be pretty confident to wear a hat with ears. I, w I won't even tell you what, I, I text Bart a little comment about the dude. Right. Great guy, I'm sure. Right, you're basically pointing out the hat. Yeah. And I read it out Bart loud. Bart reads it out, the text start, out loud. I start reading it out loud. <laughs> then I stopped. It was like, hey, look at the guy yeah. with the hat. And then I stopped. And you were like, <laughs> You were like, look at the guy with the hat. I'm like, oh, Jesus. Why, would, why are you reading that out loud? All it was was look at the guy with the hat. Bart was like, well, I was in the middle of reading. Yeah, just I was reading it. I, like, it. Well, I, I read a lot of my texts out loud. You send it to me, I'm reading it out loud. <laughs> That's what I do. I think it's the age creeping in. I was like, yeah, you're looking at me like, hey, there's a reason I sent you the text when I'm sitting next to you. <laughs> yeah. It was to be on the DL. <laughs> Down low. Right. And I'm like, and why are you reading out loud? I'm like, I'm going to give you full credit on that one. Because I knew it was from you. You're sitting right next to me. You probably are doing something that's on the sly. <laughs> hey, I think you said, like, look at a funky hat or something. I don't, no, it wasn't even funky, though. It wasn't bad. No, it wasn't about the hat. But right. It was something no. else. It was bad. He did have little ears on it, though, like little cat ears on his hat. Scotch it! <laughs> You Scotch gods. Salancha. We got stuff. You can dummies. go buy it. You can go to Patreon. You can go to Scotch Test Dummies. There's stuff there. Bye. <laughs>